a rare treat to see some new creature waddle its way through space, but they never lasted long. He worked maintenance, traveling to the fringes of known space, patching up communications relays. They used to send drones out, but sending these poor bastards proved to be much easier on the wallet. Now there's a fine line between brave and stupid, and this guy wasn't anywhere near it. Out in deep space in a tin can with a thick musk of recycled air, he was a worker bee who didn't see the big picture. sat perched on that comm relay for spans. Couldn't quite come to grips with what had just happened. He didn't have a hope in hell without a ship. He scavenged himself an improvised set of equipment. At the time, I wondered where exactly he thought he was going to go. I've never bet on anything, but if there was anyone around, my first would have been that he'd be dead before he made it a hundred tracks. let him cover large distances. They were designed for ships, but surprisingly, they didn't tear him apart. Paul severed my connection to the array. Uh, that's our network. It crippled my long-range sensors, fractured my neural net, and gave me a nasty scar across my lens. Everything's gotta die, but this poor guy with nothing to live for, he wasn't going easy. I guess he figured he hadn't had a chance to live yet. Maybe we were more alike than I thought.
told myself it was only a matter of time before he'd be dead and I'd be on my way. If only it were that simple. Surprisingly, he was keeping a decent pace. I kept my distance, listening to his mumbling. Damn, I'm starving. I'd give my left nut for the crust of a burnt fry pan. Thank <laughs> you.